Around 149 packages have been released from February 1 to 7. In this video I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. Among those we get a package to visualize statuses for example of an order or a checkout process, a package to morph between predefined or custom shapes, an open source backend solution as alternative to Firebase and 7 more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the latest package releases. Whenever you click on an input field in the emulator, the keyboard pops up automatically. This can be quite annoying sometimes and when creating the new tutorial for Flutter Form Builder I used this command to manually close the keyboard. But this was not the optimal solution in all cases. The first package of this week is called Input with Keyboard Control and provides an input field that allows you to control whether the keyboard shows up or not without losing focus which can be useful for example if you plan to create a barcode scanner. One of the most used features in image editing programs is probably the good old paint bucket. With this tool you can colorize whole areas of an image and exactly this tool is now offered by the package Flute Fill Image. Just add your asset image to the image provider property of the Flute Fill Image widget and use the paint bucket functionality on your provided image. Further information about this package can be found in the developer's blog, link in the video description. If you're having a hard time implementing routing with Flutter Navigation 2.0, the package NavMe promises a simple way to use Navigation 2.0 like Navigator 1.0. In the documentation you can find a link to the live demo. To build your own chat application you can make use of a chat API, like the one from StreamChat, a service for building chat applications. You can now use the official Flutter Core components for StreamChat using the package StreamChat Flutter Core. You have an app with user registration and login, but you have no idea how to make sure that new email addresses or existing ones are valid? Then you may take a look at Email Auth, a package to verify email addresses sending a one-time password to validate them. On week 3 the most popular package was a swipeable drawer for good looking site menus. This week we get another option to implement a very good looking site menu, namely with the package Site Menu Animation which offers an animated and customizable site menu. In the documentation you can also find two video links teaching you how to build this package yourself. Do you want to use avatars in your Flutter app, preferably customizable and unique ones? The avatar provider MultiAvatar lets you generate over 12 billion unique multicultural avatars. And with the same named package MultiAvatar you get a wrapper to integrate this service in your Flutter app. Firebase is probably the most popular backend solution for Flutter apps. But there are alternatives, for example the service Superbase.io if you prefer an open source solution. And if so, check out the same named package Superbase, which is the Dart client for Superbase. It has become so much harder to stay in shape these days, considering that all sports facilities have been closed. At least that's the case for Germany. How nice would it be if you could change your shape on command? Just morph from one to another shape. Of course, that would never work in real life, but at least in the world of Flutter and Dart. With Morphable Shape you can create various shapes that are responsive and can morph between each other. You can use the predefined shapes or create your own custom shapes using a shape editing tool also made by the package developer. Seems like it's never been easier to get in shape. You're building an e-commerce app but you don't have an idea yet how to visualize the status of the checkout or order process then you can now enjoy this week's number one with 30 likes the package status change, providing widgets to visualize different types of processes and their statuses, both vertically and horizontally. These were the package releases of Calendar Week 5. I hope you enjoyed this video and all the packages and further information are linked in the video description. 
I would be very interested to know which of the past releases you are most excited about and why. Feel free to tell me about it in the comments. Also, I appreciate any kind of feedback. I have already received some very helpful tips from you for which I am very grateful. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a wonderful week and see you soon.